Hey everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we are going to create a brand new to-do application using Laravel. And we'll do it in less than 10 minutes. So let's go. So the command Laravel new flash node will create a new application named flash node. As you can see, a new folder has been created. I type cd flash to do to enter the folder, then code dot to open it in VS Code. So now we're in VS Code. What we're gonna do is subscribe to Cloud. So as you can see on the screen, once you have an account, you can prompt it. Now let's create a simple to-do application. Uh, we need a title and the completed columns. Uh, we don't want something uh, complex. We just need uh, to implement a crude create read update delete system. So this is just the basics. But what I want to show you is that we can create a simple yet efficient app in under 10 minutes. So if you have more time, just imagine what you could do. Yeah, so let's first create the model. We'll use the command php artisan make model. Now open a new terminal and run this command php artisan make model task dash mc. This creates the migration and the controller at the same time. If we go to the app pp slash models folder, we can see the task model here. And in app http controllers, uh, we have the task controller. Now we just copy the migration code from Claude to our project. Then we run the migration is in PHP artisan migrate. And yeah, it works. So now let's move on to the model configuration. We just copy the configuration and paste it into our model. Here we specify that the title and the completed columns should be fillable. Also the completed uh, column is cast to a boolean. Ok, so the next step is to create the controller. We copy the controller code provided by Cloud and paste it into our project. As you can see, there are methods for the crude operations like create, store, index and show for details. We also have other methods like edit, update, toggle complete and show. Next. Let's copy the roots. We go into the web.php file under the roots folder and add the code. Here we have a resource root because we are using a resource controller. This is one of the amazing uh, features of Laravel. So, okay. Oh, what's the next step? Ah, the views. As you can see, we're following the MVC pattern. And we've set up the model and the controller, and now we're creating the views. Let's start with the index view. But before that, let's first create a new layouts folder. To do that, we create a new folder inside the resources views folder. Now inside the layouts folder, we create the layout file and paste the code. As you can see, the code provided by Claude is very well organized. Now. Let's set up the index view by copying the code provided by Cloud. We'll create a new folder called Tasks, and inside it, we'll create the index.blade.php view file. 
finally we paste the code into this file. Let's move on to the next part, the create view. We create the create.play.php view file. Then we paste the code. This is the same process for all crude operations, create, read, update and delete views. So we need a view file for each operation. For the last one, we create the show view for the details. The show method handles uh, displaying the details of a specific task. For example, if you want to edit a particular task. Now, let's set up the database part. Claude uses MySQL here. To get started, I launch my Nginx server since I'm using Nginx. Mm, for me, I just have to type the virtual host address phpmyadmin.local in the browser which opens php my admin. I log in with the root user and create a new database called flash to do. Now we go to the dot and file to fill in the database informations. By default, uh, Laravel uses Laravel as the app name. So I change it to Flash To Do. I fill in the database uh, details like host, port, and the username. Mm, there's no password for the user in my case. I run the migration command, but there's an issue. Let me show you how to fix this. Inside the database.php file, we just change the engine to InnoDB. Now we run the migration again using php artisan migrate colon fresh, and it works. The database is not created with the correct schema by Laravel and as you can see, we have the task table with columns. Now I run the PHP artisan serve to launch the server. Then open the app in the browser at port 8000. Let's test the application. I'll create a new task. The best code is no code at all. It's created, and I'll try to mark it as completed. Okay, let's create another note. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. That works too. Now let's add one more task for testing. Think twice, code twice. Uh, it's created, but I want to update it too. Think twice, code once. Now let's delete it. And as you can see, it works also. We've now completed the application with the full crude operations. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.